Hi guys, how are you doing? So today I'm going to share with you a recipe that a lot of you asked me on Instagram. I posted a picture of our um, home baked bread and a lot of you asked me to show you how I do it. actually a very simple recipe that I use and we do this or rather I do this at least once a week and we are able to keep the bread for a whole week so I'm just gonna quickly share this with you and I hope you guys like it if you find this recipe easy for you to use please do let me know and let me know if you have anything else that you would like me to share with you I'll be more than happy to do so so in this bread you're just gonna need um, a few ingredients so we have the the whole wheat or brown flour it looks like so i think the camera just shows it like white but it's the brown uh, flour if you're in kenya i use atta atta flour then we have the the white flour the normal baking flour and then I have some salt and I have seeds. The seeds I have today, I have a sesame seeds and pumpkin seeds. Uh, and of course you're going to need a little bit of butter here. So the first thing is, this is 400 grams of brown flour. I'm just gonna put that in there. And this is 100 grams of white flour. Um, also, I'm adding a little bit of almond flour from almond nuts. I just happened to have this flour. This is totally optional. You don't have to use. But I happen to have this flour in the house and I don't want it to go bad before I can use it. So that's why I'm just adding a little bit of it. It's also very healthy. It's all made of seeds. And you know it makes it like a protein bread or so to say so I'm just adding a little bit of this it's this is about like 30 grams I'm using I'm just adding this right here and then I'm gonna add one of these sachets of yeast um, this is seven grams sachet of yeast um, I'm gonna add this right here if you hear any funny noises, it's definitely Zoe. She's seated right here with me. Uh, so, 7 grams of yeast. And then I'm just going to start this through. Just stir this together. Make sure it all mixes nicely. Um, the reason why I like to bake my own bread is because I have tried a lot of bread in this place and none of it really ever worked for me. Um, the butter toast kind of bread, the sandwich bread is too fatty, kind of, you can pretty much taste the butter in it. I don't like too much of that. And the other healthy bread you get, the problem is when we buy it and we don't finish it, we just have a piece of it. The rest of it we put it away even if you you close it up and everything it still ends up very dry very hard you cannot eat it so we always end up to grind it and make like um breadcrumbs with it which is always like a waste so that's why i always feel like i don't want to buy bread anymore and i enjoy to do this uh it's not too much work so once this is mixed i'm going to add one tablespoon of butter um, one tablespoon of butter like so and I'm just gonna mix this together as well this butter is from the fridge so I will have to use my hand to mix this up
And now as I am mixing this like so, I'm going to add the seeds. So I just mix up uh, these um, sesame seeds with pumpkin seeds together. You can use any kind of seeds that you like to eat. Um, so I'm just gonna mix this up together, all the seeds, make sure you incorporate them in there. I think when it comes to the amount of seeds that you use, it depends with you how much you wanna use really. Uh, I don't really measure this. And also this is optional, you don't have to use seeds, it just adds it, um, makes it more healthy, you know, in, so to say. So just mix that up like this. And just to show you guys, this is how it all looks now still dry so the next step i'm going to add 300 ml of warm water like hand warm water you know like warm hand warm yeah not hot not cold and not room temperature a little bit of the on the warmer side so yeah 300 ml so i'm gonna make a little bit of a hole in the center here and then i'm gonna pour this in it's always good not to pour everything together because you never know how the consistency will turn out just add a little bit and then see how it goes before you can add the rest of it yeah. also these guys add your salt i just almost forgot my salt add your salt in there i don't add sugar but if you would like to have it on the sweet side you can add sugar if you prefer it's totally up to you so i'm just gonna add the rest of my water mix this up nicely so at this point i'm trying to turn it into a dough that is not too wet and not too dry So what I'm going to do is to mix it up. Make sure you use a big bowl so that your work is nice and clean in there. You don't have to strain on space. Once this is done, I'm going to add a little bit of flour on my surface. Very minimal very very minimal and then i'm going to knead this for about 10 minutes just to make sure it's nice and soft and you know good mix you know so about 10 minutes don't get tired <laughs> don't get tired if you want it to look nice this is the best way to do it. Just knead your flour nicely. So guys, after 10 minutes of kneading your dough, you're going to want to put some flour, a little bit of flour on your surface. Uh, not much again, just a little bit. And then you will take your dough and leave it like this. Cover it up with a glass bowl or any kind of bowl that you have. And I'm going to leave this right here for one hour so that the yeast can raise until it doubles the size. This depends with the heat and the temperature of your house. The, the warmer it is in your house, the faster it is going to grow. The cooler it is, the longer it will take. Hey guys, so it's been one hour already and what we have here is double the size. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me try it. It's quite soft now. You can see it's quite big. It's so very uh, soft. So I'm just going to knead it about four times not too hard just soft 
like so. And then I'm just going to shape it back into a ball. Like so. And I'm going to leave it again for 15 minutes, just like that. When you're kneading for the second time, don't do it too rough. Just slightly to let out any air that is stuck inside. So 15 minutes and we can throw it in the oven. So I'll be back after 15 minutes, guys. 15 minutes are up, guys. So next step is you're going to grease one of these bread uh, baking dish. And I'm just going to shape it now into this dish. I have greased this with butter. Um, it's just to shape it like bread and then stick it in there. So what I'm doing, I'm just shaping it and pressing it in to this um, dish. So I have something looking like this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to again cover this for another one hour or 45 minutes. Again, depending with the heat of your house. So uh, just use one of your clean kitchen towels, cover it up like this, let it rest for one hour, and the next step is to put it in the oven. So guys, as you're waiting for your dough to rise for the last time switch on your oven 230 degrees celsius um or 220 degrees if you're using the fan uh and then you're going to put one of these um uh, baking trays in there and leave it to heat for 20 minutes okay minutes 230 degrees and make sure you put it in the lowest uh, level of the oven this is because when you put the bread uh, the dough to cook you're going to put some water around the baking tray this one so that it can burst out some steams and make the bread much softer inside and give it that nice steamy feel so that it doesn't get too hard or too crusty so that's the reason why you need to heat up the tray first so that the moment you put in the bread, you pour uh, uh, some cold water around it, uh, not in the uh, bread, but on the baking tray that you're putting the surface on the, the bread on. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but I will show you guys, okay? So guys, the bread is finally ready to go to the oven. Um, as you can see, this is how much it has risen. You can see that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna pop this in the oven. It's already very hot and the pan underneath there is also very hot. So once the bread goes in there, this is now where you put in about 250 ml of water is going to burst out because the pan is hot so you're just gonna pour on the surface pan okay um, like so just close that up and then you're going to bake it for about 25 to 30 minutes um, and then you're going to lower the heat of the oven to 220 from 230 to 220 for 25 minutes and then we come back and we can enjoy this bread okay i'll show you the finished look you have to listen to that <laughs> if it sounds like an empty hollow thing then it's cooked that's what that's the test basically so that's it guys this is the baked bread i can it's still a little hot uh try to cut just a little bit to show you guys how it looks inside 
so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this let me know if you try this recipe let me know how you go about it and how it works out for you that's it i'll see you guys next time goodbye for now